Uh, with the what's making headlines on the very top of uh, the standard newspaper man with a soft voice but firm stand exits the stage you also have that on the front page of the nation nyenze death plunges parliament into mourning um so the curtain has fallen on uh, nyenze the, uh, the ex-minister uh, who seemingly rose to lead the opposition um in the house he was re-elected as member of parliament several times and he has now taken his uh, final bow your thoughts on the legacy that he now leaves behind first of all my condolence to his family mm -hmm. and to the nation and to the constituency that he was representing. I think Nyanze was becoming a, a force uh, in the Kamba political arena. Right. I think um, running to the neck to last general election, Nyanze came out very strongly mm -hmm. to support our um, Honorable Kalonzo Msioka and uh, literally wanted Kalonzo Msioka to be the president. Right. I mean, the running, the presidential candidate um, not only for WIPA, but for NASA as well. And that sort of, uh, you know, made him uh, lose some few friends and gain some few friends at the same time. But Nyenze has also been a man that had been in parliament previously and then was out for a while in the cold and then uh, suddenly had, uh, a, a, you know, a comeback into parliament. Mm -hmm. And I think okay. his role as a minority whip, um, you know, was very, very key in, in parliament and for unifying uh, both the government and the opposition. And so uh, he's a man that um, many people have good words for and uh, they say was a very soft-spoken. Soft um, all we see is another by-election in his constituency. Right. Uh, but we hope that, um, you know, his family will be able to, you know, handle his demise well and mm -hmm. possibly. I was really impressed anyway, uh, Michelle, yesterday when I realized that the mainstream media uh, refused to, to, not refused, but waited until the appropriate time to, uh, you know, announce, announce his demise. Death, so right. Something that did not happen when Nyeri governor died mm -hmm. and, and suddenly it was over there, his kids, oblivious of the fact that, you know, perhaps this passed. needed to have been communicated much better than, than what was done. So this time around, it was in the social media, mm -hmm. but as you saw, you know, the mainstream media, you know, they were taking this with time until an appropriate time when they thought that now it was the right it was time, time. To and do of course this. the family coming out very strongly yeah. they're very clear Rita, to Anna to outline the cause of his death uh, to avoid any speculation well may he rest in peace sure. so let's take